Hello, Derek Jones here again with another episode of Amazing Sea Creatures. This time, Porophilia. Glass sponges I have here. The phylum is Porophyra, and the class is Hectic Tenalia. Well, fuck that shit. Hello, Derek Jones here again with another episode of Amazing Sea Creatures. This time, glass sponges from Deep Sea, Nova Scotia, April, May 2015. Glass sponges are Porophyra. And uh, as you can see, the class of them. Glass here, I really can't, I really can't say that, but. Uh, yeah, as you can see, the glass sponges comes all shapes and sizes. And it's called glass because when they dry out, they harden in the, what sounds like glass. And you can see the construction here. Glass sponges have six rayed spicules made of silica. And they're commonly found at depths of 200 to 2,000 meters or more. And they survive by forming a symbiotic relationship with shrimp and other crustaceans. You can see some of them grow very large and live a very long time. You're talking centuries and thousands of years. And they have all the different shapes. See inside, the shrimp actually live inside. And they live in clusters. You see this one was part of a cluster like that, right? And they form on substrate. They have to be attached to the bottom. In the uh, some of the spicules will actually stick into your finger and you have to ply them, pull them out with pliers or tweezers and they come in every shape and form you can imagine glass sponges were very very common in Nova Scotia a few years ago but they're getting shyer and shyer like everything else you can see the spicules, silica spicules. A very ancient species. Some of the oldest life forms on Earth. Glass sponges are well, they're very elaborate. When they dry it, they last for decades. You see the construction, especially designed for water to flow through. They filter feed, but well, I don't understand. They filter feed from the inside out with the symbiotic creatures living inside. You 
I, mean, I can imagine this one is literally old as the hills. But yet we're fishing deeper and deeper down, so nothing escapes the wrath of humans nowadays. Very fascinating and mysterious. So, yep, any questions, just leave a comment. And the comments that you leave really, really help me out, right? Because yet, say I'm just an amateur researcher and like marine science is taboo in Canada, you know, science is controlled by the multi -nor multinational corporations and their puppet governments here in Canada. So what scientific research there is, is done by amateurs. Because Canadian scientists are too afraid to speak out. It's all scientists in Canada, even academic ones are charged with developing the oil they get to the states and recently to China so yeah anything any comments are are greatly appreciated there you have it mysterious ocean sponges goodbye Here are some glass sponges from Nova Scotia, Canada. Different shapes and sizes. Cone shaped glass sponge. Very large and old ones there. As you can see, they all start to form on a piece of substrate. Different pole, holes where they're tore up by trawlers. Okay, as you can hear, we call them glass sponges. Because they're like glass when they dry. see inside there see the pattern very old long-lived species Canadian glass sponges In every shape there is sponges from Nova Scotia, Canada. Dried glass sponges I should say.